Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is a 55-year-old gentleman with chronic shoulder pain. And if we look here on this coronal T1 image, we see a really nice glenohumeral joint. The humeral head is nice and smooth contour. There's no erosion or spurring. The glenoid also looks very, very nice. And we see the labrum was intact. And if we look above the joint here, we look for the AC joint. If we get this midline cut here, we see just a perfect AC joint. There's no erosion, spurring, marrow edema. Looks great. But if we go posteriorly, we do see that there is, that's anterior, here we go posteriorly, we see that there is another, looks like another AC joint back here. So this is an unfused ossification of the acromion. One of the apophyses did not fuse, and this is pretty common, anywhere from like 5 to 15% of people. And when this happens, this little fragment here can shift. When the deltoid muscle contracts, it'll pull it downward, and it can cause impingement of the rotator cuff. So when we see this, we wonder, uh, number one, do they have any reactive marrow signal changes? Do they have any spurring associated with it? Even without spurring, again, it may tilt down and cause rotator cuff problems, impingement. And then the next thing to do is look at the rotator cuff. So on this coronal fat set PD sequence here, we see there is some bright signal in the rotator cuff right here. This is the distal supraspinatus tendon, and really, really bright here. So they have some tendinopathy and a little partial thickness intersubstant tearing of the supraspinatus tendon associated with this osochromiale. And that's it, so thank you very much.